And I want to tell you more about how Jump Jump and I saved Christmas. We talked with Eskimos, took a ride in the back of a whale, and were captured by the ice elves. And I'll tell you more about that today. All the folks from Holiday House were at the North Pole. Jump Jump, the little elf, and me. In the Christmas spirit, who looks like the fairy doll that hangs on our Christmas tree each year at the orphanage, was guiding us along a silver path that was to take us to the palace of the wicked ice queen who had kidnapped Santa Claus's reindeer. Yesterday, I told you about the Christmas tree forest, where all the old Christmas trees grow. It was beautiful, and I'd like to have stayed there for a long, long time. But we had to hurry on. I'll tell you what happened next in just a minute. of our Eskimo dogs. Mary Holiday was standing on the runners of the sled driving the dog team. But little Jump Jump, the elf that is only as big as your thumb, whizzed over our heads in his toy red helicopter. Ahead of the sled walked the poet from Holiday House, making up poems to himself about the snow and the ice. Achipagli the clown and I walked along beside the sled to keep Mary Holiday company. He was so quiet and kind of lonesome and scary there all in that snow. Look, Tim, up ahead. Isn't that a signpost stuck into the snow? Yes, it looks like a signpost, Mary Holiday. Maybe we're arriving at the frozen country at last. Oh, the frozen country? The frozen country? Oh, goodness me. That's where the queen dwells, that ice queen, if I'm not mistaken. You're not mistaken, Archie Parkway. Over once, as a famous man once said, I was hoping I was wrong. Jump, jump. Can you read the sign from up there in your helicopter? Yes, I see the sign, Mary Holiday. What does it say? It doesn't say anything. Not a thing? Don't Sign go. boys don't talk. <laughs> oh, you're the funny one around here, are you? I'm supposed to be the funny one here. Jump, jump, this is serious. What did the words on the signboard say? The words say, they say, uh, uh, well, I can't read very good, Mary Holiday. Oh, I forgot. I'll read it for you, Jump Jump. We're almost to it now. I can almost make out the words myself from here. Whoa! 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 Oh, here we are. Yes, now we can all read the sign. Jump Jump is flying around the sign, Mary Holiday. Yes, I see him. He's landing right on top of the sign post now. Now we can all read the sign. Or, or, or can we? You can read, if you can read, Archie Pogway. Read? Why, of course I can read. Oh, oh, it says, quote, You are now leaving the country of the Christmas tree forest and entering the forest country, the frozen country, ruled by the ice queen, unquote. Yes, so it does. Do you realize that once we cross this boundary line, we're actually in the ice queen's country? Oh, oh. Oh, me, oh, my. The Ice Queen's country? I don't suppose we could go home right now, do you? And just leave the reindeer with the Ice Queen? And not have Santa Claus deliver any presents on Christmas Eve? 
I'm having no Christmas. Oh, my goodness, no. No, we couldn't do that, could we? No, as a famous man once said, no, we cannot go home. We must rescue the reindeer from the ice queen. Why are we wasting our time? Paula, we're going into the ice queen's country. He doesn't need an answer, Mary Ellen. Oh, the poet's thinking about his poems, Tim. I guess the poet doesn't care where we go as long as he can find something beautiful about which to write a poem. Where's Sleepy Slim the lion? Yes, where is Sleepy Slim? I haven't seen him for a long time. Oh, uh, Sleepy Slim kept falling down in the snow and going to sleep, so I finally told him he could ride in the sled and take a nap under all our extra coats and sweaters. Ah, uh, me, that lazy lion who's always lying down. <laughs> well... Well, do we cross the boundary lines now, Mary Holiday? Yes. Yes, I think we're ready. Um, why don't you walk ahead with the poet, Archie Pogley, and, and sort of keep a lookout. And, Tim, you and Jump Jump stay with me and the dog team. That's fine with me, Mary Holiday, but uh, uh, just what do I look out for? Oh, just anything, Archie Pogley. Look sharp, Archie Pogley, and tell the poet to watch out, too. After all, the Ice Queen knows we're coming by now. Yes, Archie Pogley, and who knows what she might do. She might send her snowman army against us. A snowman army? Yes, or she might send the Ice Maidens after us. The Ice who? Ice Maidens, Archie Pogley. I wouldn't be scared of Lady Ice Men. But these Ice Maidens are so big, Archie Pogley. How big, Mary Holiday? Twenty feet high. Twenty feet high? Yes. Ice maidens, 20 feet high? Oh, who'd be scared of... Uh, uh, oh, what? Did you say that? Did you say 20 feet high, Mary Holiday? Why, that's as tall as the orphanage at home. You mean women as tall as a building? So I've heard, Tim. <laughs> Let's hope, Archie Pogley, we don't meet any. Jump, jump, remember now, when you get back in your helicopter, remember to stay right over my head, or in my pocket you'll have to go. Yes, Mary Holiday, I will, I will, I'll fly right over your head. All right, then, everybody, let's go and stay close to the silver trail that the Christmas spirit told us would take us to the Ice Queen's palace. Yes, we will. I'll start out with a poet, and, and we'll go on ahead. Uh, oh, I hope it's the Ice Maiden's day off. I guess I'd better sing. I'm a jolly old clown, and I never do frown, and uh, come on, poet, don't daydream there, and I make little children laugh with glee, I never do whine, cause I haven't got time, I'm a jolly old clown as you can see. Well, we started off into the frozen country, but <laughs> you probably didn't sing much, so it was too cold. Jump Jump did exactly as he was told, and flew like a red bird just above Mary Holiday's fur hood. I sometimes ran inside the sled to keep my fur warm, or it sat on the front behind the string of trotting husky dogs. It took us farther and farther into the frozen country. We kept watching, but nothing unusual happened until late in the afternoon. Then Archie Pogley came running back to Mary Holiday, who stopped the sled to talk to him. Have you seen the Ice Queen's Palace, Archie Pogley? No, no, not, not yet. Ooh, it's cold. My, my hair is sprouting icicles. Archie Pogley is a silly old clown. My silly old clown, am I? It's cold down here in the snow. Jump, jump. And you spin around up there in your red helicopter and laugh at me in my frozen hair. I'll just get a handful of snow like this. And I'll make a nice round snowball like this. And I'll throw it like this. <laughs> oh, you didn't come within three feet of him, Archie Pogley. Mm -hmm. He's waving at you. Waving at me? Is he making fun of me? Well, uh, here's another snowball for you. Don't make a mistake and hit him with the snowball, Archie Pogley. <laughs> <laughs> and Mary Holiday, as a famous man once said, I couldn't hit the side of a barn. <laughs> See? Oh! See? <gasps> oh, oh, you did hit him with a snowball, Archie Pogley. You hit Jump Jump's helicopter. Oh, I couldn't have. I, I can't hit the side but of a barn. You did. You did, Archie Pogley. You hit Jump Jump's helicopter, and it's it's fallen to the ground. Oh, he isn't hurt, is he, Mary Holiday? No. Oh, no, Tim, not at all. Thank goodness he's just covered with snow. Archie Pogley hit me with a snowball. Oh, 
I can't understand it. I simply can't understand it. I can't hit the side of a barn. Oh, I'm so sorry, Jump Jump. The little helicopter's broken, I'm afraid. It was just an accident, Jump Jump, just an accident. A five-by-five five guy like me would never hit a guy who's no feet free. Oh, <laughs> you're making lines, Archie Pogley. Oh. You're talking like the poet. Oh, did I? Making lines like the poet? <laughs> well, I'm so upset, I don't know what I'm saying. I hit Jump Jump with a snowball. I couldn't do it again in a million, trillion, squillion years. All I did was make a snowball like this and throw it up in the air like this. Ow! Now you hit Tim. Now you hit Tim, Archie Pogley. Well, why don't you go and play snowball with the poet, Archie Pogley? He's much more your size. <laughs> Poor Archie Pogley. He kept us laughing for quite a while. We'd almost forgotten we were in the frozen country and likely to meet the Ice Queen any minute, when suddenly a cold wind began to blow. Oh, it's cold, and the wind is blowing snow into my face. Yes, mine too. We'll have to stop the sled. Here comes Archie Pogley and the poet, Mary Holiday. We need some more covers. We, as a famous man once said, ooh, it's cold. Here you are, Archie Pogley. Will you hand the sweater to the poet? I've gotten myself another jacket, Mary Holiday. Jump, Jump, are you warm enough in my fur-lined pocket? Are you sure that you're warm enough, Mary Holiday? This is the coldest wind I ever felt, Blow. Oh, yes, I'm fine. There's one more blanket on the sled. I'll wrap this around me. Mary Holiday? Yes? Where's Sleepy Slim? Well, he's on the sled. Why, no, he isn't, is he? No, you said he was sleeping under our coats and covers. He was. Where is he now? I haven't seen him all afternoon. Could he have fallen off into the snow? Maybe he walked off in his sleep. But where is he now? We've lost Sleepy Slim the lion. What was that Mary holiday? Was it the wind? No. It sounded like somebody laughing. There it was again. I can't hear it for the wind. I'm going to look around for Sleepy Slim. Say, hey. What's that over there? Oh, where, Archie Pogley? Is it Sleepy Slim? No, no, it isn't Sleepy Slim. It's a little man dressed in white. Yes, a dwarf. It must be one of the Ice Queen snow dwarfs. There's another one behind you, Mary Holiday. Me? Look over there, Mary Holiday. Oh, look at another, another one. Another one, and another one, and another one. Oh, there must be a hundred of them. We have swords of ice. And beards of icicles. Oh, Archie Pogley, shall we try to run from them? What do you think, Tim? Well, where can we run to? There are ice dwarves all around us. The ice dwarves have caught the poet, Mary Holiday. They have? Yes, and he's just smiling at them, but they're shaking their swords oh. at him. What shall we do, Archie Pogley? There are ice dwarves on every side of us. Look, their icicle beards drag in the snow. They're such small little dwarves, and they don't come to my shoulder. I don't think they can hurt us much. Oh, now they're all around you, Archie Pogley. Oh, oh, I give up. Ice dwarves, I give up. Whoops, don't stick me with your ice swords. They're jumping up and down around Archie Pogley, Mary Holiday. We are completely surrounded with dwarves too, Mary Holiday. Yes, Tim, we are. What shall we do? What shall we do, Tim? Yes, we were surrounded, all right. We'd been taken prisoner by the Ice Queen's dwarves. Then I knew I heard somebody laughing in the wind. For just then, I heard it again. <laughs> She was laughing because we'd lost Sleepy Slim and been captured by the Ice Dwarves. Where the Ice Dwarves took us, I'll tell you tomorrow. Tomorrow.